A true visionary is someone who dreams big and doesn't allow constraints of reality to hinder ideas for the future. Gene Batchelder is a true visionary. Born on May 3, 1947 in Enid, Gene was the oldest son of Tilly and Arlie Batchelder. Gene's dad was the first person in his family to graduate from college, and he instilled the value of a college degree in all of his children. Gene was active in Sigma Alpha Epsilon at OSU and graduated in 1969 with a degree in accounting. He served briefly in the military before going to work for the Ford Motor Company in Detroit. After only three years, he returned to Oklahoma to begin what would be an extraordinary career with Phillips Petroleum. I think he just came in as an entry-level um, auditor uh, for the accounting division and um, just kind of started to rise up through the ranks after that. Gene's first son, Chris, was born one year after the return to Oklahoma in 1973. Stephen followed shortly behind in 1975. Daughter Annie completed the Batchelder clan in 1980. We were kind of that family in Bartlesville that went to everything. We went to every OSU football game, every basketball game. It seemed like a lot of times we were in Stillwater more weekends than we were in Bartlesville. In 1978, the family moved to Houston and Gene was promoted to manager of finance and administration for the Chemicals Latin America division. They would again return to Bartlesville in 1980, where he would eventually serve as the manager of communications networks and computer services, guiding Phillips into the digital age. He was just so proud of all this uh, technology that they had put together at Phillips and it really got him recognized within the company as kind of a pioneer and, and a forward thinker. I mean this was back in the 80s before you know computers and and PCs and stuff like that were prevalent so um, I think that's something he's always been really proud of. Gene continued to thrive at Phillips serving in various roles for the company and several of its subsidiaries. He was named Vice President and Chief Information Officer in 1999 and in 2009 was named Senior Vice President and Chief Administrative Officer. All the while, this larger-than-life figure exuberated excellence and personified dedication. I've been privileged to know Gene Batchelder through my entire career with the company. And he's provided significant contributions in the area of finance, information technology, commercial transactions most recently the administration side of the company. He's a valued senior executive of the company and a close confidant. He walks in a room and he commands attention. Doesn't even have to say anything, okay? It's just the way he carries himself. But then when he, he sits down, he listens and he has big ideas. He's a what if kind of guy. Gene's ascension at ConocoPhillips was mirrored by his involvement with the OSU Alumni Association. While in Bartlesville, he served as president of the Washington County Chapter before joining the executive committee and ultimately the National Board of Directors. Gene's always had a passion for his alma mater and for excellence at OSU, but particularly a soft spot for the Alumni Association. Um, you know, he has season tickets to the sporting events and all that, but the Alumni Association is always where he felt like um, he could make a difference and, and just felt a connection with the mission of the Alumni Association, keeping our alumni connected for life. It was that connection for life that Gene and several other board presidents helped craft in the late 1990s at a time when the Alumni Association was searching for direction. When Gene came uh, as, as president, it was 2000. So basically he brought in a new century of thinking to the uh, traditional ways that we had done things. And, you know, it's funny, you think of, uh, we didn't even have a website back in 2000. And uh, he was, he was, he had this vision of what he wanted to accomplish and then um, made sure it happened and under his watch. And he got everybody pulled together and past and future presidents and we all figured out with the, obviously with the great staff, the Alumni Association, and we leaped forward and he was instrumental in that. Leaps based solely on faith weren't in Gene's game plan, and he made sure the Alumni Association had a solid footing to land on after its transformative journey. Combining two of his life's passions, Gene united ConocoPhillips and Oklahoma State University under one roof, 
with the ConocoPhillips OSU Alumni Center. A dream for many years, Gene provided the connections that ultimately gave OSU alumni a place to call home. So ConocoPhillips and its predecessors combined um, are by far and away the largest corporate donors in OSU's history. And like I said, for the last at least 15 years, Gene's been the primary liaison in that relationship. Uh, he and Jerry um, presented a proposal um, that was accepted and ended up being uh, really what made the Alumni Center a reality today. It wasn't just let's do it, it was what is it going to cost, how are we going to get there, and Gene was extremely instrumental in setting that path but he also charged us with, okay, put your money where your mouth is. And, and probably more than anyone, Gene put his money where his mouth is. And he challenged the rest of us and we got on board. And today we're sitting in this beautiful facility that is um, so dynamic and it is the, the outward face of OSU. Gene was recognized by the OSU School of Accounting as a distinguished alumnus and inducted into the OSU College of Business Hall of Fame in 2002. He continues to support his alma mater by serving as a trustee to the OSU Foundation and serving on the College of Business Associates. Today, Gene and his wife Lori enjoy their ranch outside Houston. He continues his lifelong passion for golf while building an interest in hunting. Together, the couple enjoys their combined six children and 13 grandchildren. Family is a real passion for him, and that's something he's gotten a chance to refocus on the last 10 years or so. And Gene has seen many of his big dreams come true for his company, his family, and his alma mater. And we recognize him for his remarkable vision that will leave a lasting legacy for generations to come. You know, I was really delighted when Gene's name came up as a nominee for the Hall of Fame because of his long history and a relationship with OSU, his support in various roles through his company and personally and with his family. Gene Batchelder has done so much for the Alumni Association and it is so befitting that we honor someone who has given back so much and been so involved. And Gene, very proud of you and we very much appreciate and thank you so much for what you do for our company and for Oklahoma State University. As long as I can remember, he's been serving OSU, even, even to the present time. And so there just aren't a lot of people that just give and give and give. And he just always seems to be giving to Oklahoma State. And so for the Alumni Association to have a chance to honor somebody like that, I think is very deserved and very valuable and I know he's going to be extremely proud. A true visionary who carried a great American company and a connection for life for OSU alumni into the 21st century. Gene Batchelder, 2011 Oklahoma State University Alumni Hall of Fame.